Pelham Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace, Gemini. I am Cherokee with Pelham Tribe Tarot coming to you with another love reading. I hope your day was amazing. I hope it was fun, eventful, productive, and that you're in a positive space so that you can humbly receive this message. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Drop a comment to say hello to a goddess because what? You know I love it when you say hello. <laughs> Turn on post notifications. Click like to show love to my video. Um, and most importantly, the channel. Subscribe to my channel and share the video to share the wealth. All right, so let's get into your reading, Gemini. We're going to talk to someone who's at the breaking point in their relationship. I'm always talking to Gemini sing singles about, you know, uplifting your spirits and, you know, helping you to move on from the past. But now we need to talk to someone in an energy of trying to decide where they should go with this relationship. You've been a bit undecided because things have been here and there. One minute things are great. The next minute things are out of place and you just don't know where your place is so we gonna figure that out all right so here's the current state of your relationship um reasons you should stay and reasons you should go hmm interesting so the current state of your relationship is that you may feel as if you're simulating look the six of swords simulating stability simulating happiness um you feel like there's a bit of imposter syndrome like when you show up on the scene with your person it's like all happy go lucky but then when you get home it's like you hang up the masks and then y'all put on the boxing gloves and then y'all in the ring and i feel like um you really want this relationship to work with this person sagittarius aries leo energy but you feel like this person you and this person may be too much alike i feel like your angels are showing you that you are going to be challenged in in life not just just this relationship and an important question you have to ask yourself is do you find yourself running away from things when it gets too difficult I feel like with the Four of Wands energy, you are trying to make things work. You're trying to make things match what it looks like from the outside looking in. But it's difficult because you've done things the same way for so long and you're not even sure how to undo this web of what you may believe right now are lies. Currently, you want to... You want to take the steps to open up to your partner on an emotional, spiritual, and an emotional and a spiritual level, but you also want to do more with your partner. You want to experience more with your partner, and you may feel like y'all are at a standstill when it comes to doing things together. And that's opening your eyes right now. And you just want clarity because that's something that you don't have with the judgment card. The judgment card is supposed to bring forth things that challenge you um, to open your eyes to what you've been blinded to for a while. And you just feel like you need to see the truth because you can't find it in your day-to-day -day circumstance. And it's confusing because you're fighting you're fighting yourself and you're fighting your person. And this is someone that you should be teamed up with. So that's just... The current state right now you want all of the curtains to to be pulled to the ceiling and you want this show to to be authentic you don't want it to be faked you don't want to put on a front anymore you want the world to know what's going on you want to be involved in what's happening in your situation and some days you feel like you're on the outside of your own equation and that's difficult so reasons why you should stay i think i said this was reasons why you should stay and this is reasons why you should go so if i switched it up 
on the playback, my bad, but nothing happens by chance in Tell Him Tribe. So we're gonna say, this is why you should stay. It's the High Priestess card. So I feel like if, if you stay in this relationship, you're gonna be challenged to dig deeper within yourself to see how you can love unconditionally, how you can love an ind individual through all conditions, because I feel like this is the energy of someone who is flighty, someone who has a zero tolerance policy. And this may be the longest connection that you've been in where you decided that you were gonna fight through any and everything through every circumstance. And I feel like this person brings out the best and the worst in you, which is why you're you're, you're playing tug of war with your emotions and the, the way that you feel. And then it's difficult for you to see things. Um, I feel like with the high priestess energy as well, you're going to get to know a newer version of yourself, an, event, um, an evolved version of yourself. Um, and you will create an opportunity to balance the relationship. Whereas you bring out the spiritual side of your person. So you may experience life-changing happenings together and evolve spiritually together. That's the possibility if you stay and open up to your person. Spirit, can I get clarification on the high priestess if Gemini should stay in this connection? Can I get clarification on the high priestess on why the high priestess is here? So we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have the nine of swords. So this person would be the one to help you out of that depressive state of mind that you 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 fall into from time to time by helping you to dig deeper within yourself so if you stay you'd be challenged to face the, the dark side of the things that you feel gemini with your person and you'd have to work through it together that's what staying would look like, but there's no guarantee that this thing would work, that this is the person that you're supposed to be working through this with. But if you do, they'll you'll have a heightened sense of understanding in, um, in your circumstance, and you'll have a better understanding about this person through the high, high priestess energy. I feel like you may even... Um, you may even go to counseling with this person or church that's a new one someone suggesting oh maybe we should get baptized and maybe that will help you to feel better maybe that would cure the demons someone feels like you ha have demons that you don't face things that you don't talk about with them truths that you've kept to yourself i feel like you may release and open up to this person and they may feel like you would take a, a step to sprinkle holy water on each other and come up on some some next level spiritual shit if you say now leaving would mean that you would build yourself confidence you'd become more confident in the things that you say and the things that you do you'd be able to attack life in a more positive light because you don't have this negative influence hovering over your over your mind, over your life. You feel like this person is stifling you and your creativity and your ability to do things because they may be overbearing. So Spirit, what is the possible outcome for this relationship that Gemini is in? What is the possible outcome for this relationship that Gemini is in? The Hermit. So I see as a possible outcome because it seems like it's looking mighty positive on this side with Gemini going, you know, just deciding to just cut ties with this connection for a little while because while you may have an opportunity to grow with this person and heighten your intuition and show them how 
easier, how much easier it could be if they just take time to get to know themselves that way that they can project the most honest, open version of themselves with you. That may play out to be a rather difficult feat if this person is committed to just living on the surface and not going a second below. So with the hermit being the possible outcome or the advice, we can work it both ways. Your guys are saying that possibly it may make sense to take time to yourself to see what life would look like on your own. Try to imagine what a day would look like on your own, what a week would look like, what would you wanna do within the next year or two or the next six to eight months on your own? Would this be a more fulfilling life for you? Will you feel less negativity when you take time to see what you feel and and dig within would you be able to function on your own and is seeing this person being separated from you feeling like glee happiness joy and relief because the hermit is a major introspective card and if you're not taking time for yourself to grow as an individual and you're just becoming a part of this massive duo where eventually you're you're being stifled into one being where one person is not being heard and the other person is being manipulated or being hushed and you just feel like you cannot breathe and you're simulating a happy life when everything is falling apart on the inside that means that this wasn't built on a sturdy foundation anyway and you may have to take time apart to see what makes you happy you may have to all right, so that's all that I have for you, Gemini. I hope this helped to provide some clarity for you. And until next time, we'll talk. Love and light, tribe.